Caitlin here from Straight Line Fitness Studio with a little bit of hip alignment and hip check in mind today. So when we talk about using our Yamana practice to test our bodies, one of the things we want to think about is always tuning into alignment. Now your hips can play a huge role in not only what's happening in your shoulders, but also in your feet and vice versa. As we know, everything's connected. So we want to tune into our foundation, our hips a lot to see where there's an imbalance and what we can do to change it. So the first thing I want you to do is go find a mirror in your house where you can check your body out at hip level. Take your hands and just place them on the sides of your hips. Now you might find that when you're looking in the mirror, one hip is hiked or maybe one hip is twisted forward. That's information. It's letting us know what's happening in your body and can give us an idea about where there's some imbalances we can work on. The next thing we wanna do is make sure you have a counter, something to stabilize that you can hold on to. Holding your counter, you wanna lift one leg up. How does it feel to lift one leg up? And what happens on that stabilizing side all the way into your heel? Do you feel strong, rooted, and grounded? Do you sink into your big toe? Do you feel really wobbly? Now, level it up just a little bit by bending the knee and then pressing into the heel and coming back to straight. Does that feel really hard, challenging, or easy? Take a beat, shake it out, let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Lift that one leg up and first tune into what happens to the weight in your foot. How does that feel throughout your core? How does that feel in your pelvic floor? Now, stabilizing here, bend that stabilizing knee just a little bit and come back to neutral. Did one side feel harder than the other? If so, it lets us know that there's an imbalance happening in your hips and you can practice those regularly to bring stability back to both sides. Another way we can tune into our hips is by laying down on the floor, keeping your back relaxed as you possibly can. Take one leg and lift it straight up in the air. Can you get that bottom of the foot on that straight leg in the air reaching for the ceiling? Is that hard to do? Do you feel that straining on the opposite hip in the hip flexor? Does your body want to lift? Does that straight leg on the floor want to bend at the knee? Now, take that foot and reach it across body as much as you can. Do you feel like your shoulder on that same side wants to lift? If so, you can come back out of it just to the point where your shoulders would stay relaxed and flat on the floor. You might feel a stretch through the outside edge of that leg, but it's one that you can use to stretch out through the outside of the hip some here bring that leg straight up back to the ceiling and slowly down to the floor. Switch sides. Lifting that opposite leg straight up in the air is one side easier than the other just with that piece of it. Now take that leg and reach it across body as much as you can without the shoulder lifting. Does that change what's happening in the shoulder? Is one side a little easier than the other here? Bring it back up to center straight up at the ceiling and down to the floor. Take your arms down to your sides and go ahead and bend both your knees. Now, from here, we wanna just let one leg drop open to the floor. Can you do that with ease? Does it feel like it gets stuck halfway? This is letting us know what's happening in our deep lateral rotators. Where is our movement here? This leg that's bent and pointing, the knee pointing up at the ceiling should be nice and relaxed here. We just want to open that hip and see where we feel a stretch or how it feels. Can we relax into that and let go of anything that's gripping? Bring that back to neutral and switch to the opposite side. Drop that opposite knee open and just let it relax to the floor. Can you get it all the way flat to the floor? Is it gripping anywhere in the hips or the glutes? Are you able to relax and breathe? <sighs> Bring it back to neutral. Just another, ways, another one of the ways that you can test your body's ability to open and stretch. 
The last piece to check in on our hips and our ability to rotate and use mobility in our hips is bringing one knee to your chest by keeping the other leg straight. Take your opposite hand to the outside of the knee and gently pull that across body. Again, you shouldn't raise the shoulders at all. You just wanna see if you can get that twist through your lower body without lifting at the shoulder. And it's okay if your toe comes down before your knee does, but you wanna go slow and with control here. And then bring it back to center and straighten that leg out and we'll switch sides. Bring the knee to the chest, take the opposite hand to the outside of the knee, cross body slowly without raising that same side shoulder let the toe touch down and reach the knee for the floor. It's okay if your hips and your low back come off the floor here. We wanna try and keep our shoulders as flat as we can to the floor. And we're tuning into how does one side feel compared to the other? Is it hard to bring that knee back up? Do you feel pinchy anywhere in the front of the hips when you're going one way or the other? And if you do, you can always take time working on that tighter side just a little bit more. So give yourself some extra reps on the tighter side and just put a little bit of effort into bringing balance back to your body. We almost never use our hips equally and this is my challenge to you to start trying.